Chris Manhurt, senior Billy Barron, red shirt sophomore Dominique Graney. Uh, let's go ahead and ask fire away. Well, I mean, just whoever wants to take it. You know, they were the highest scoring team in the nation coming in, but did you expect what you saw tonight? Um, yeah, I mean, they came out firing. We didn't, we didn't really put a stop to any of that. I don't think we really made a great effort of making any defensive stops. And that, I mean, we're all accountable for that. Um, you know, they came out, they were, they were hitting a lot of shots. They hit a lot of free throws. Uh, shot 50% for the game. So, um, you know, they, they, were, they were strong. They, they kept, you know, when, when we made a layup or anything, you know, they kept firing right back down. Um, and they, they took advantage of, you know, the numbers that they had, that they got. You had the run. I mean, you know, you fell behind the big. You were, what, I think, down 21 at, at one point. Did, like last year in this tournament, you were down, down big and made that run to come back. Was there, was there any talk of that at, at that point? Yeah, you know, I don't been think, here before. But yeah, I don't think we really panicked. Honestly, uh, we knew they let up a lot of points too, and we cut it. I think we cut it to four or oh two. So yeah, we cut it down there, and we did that pretty quickly. Um, so you know, we didn't panic. Uh, you know, us having a lot of experience, us seniors, we got to leave these guys, and especially me. And you know, I think we did a great job of you know coming back. We just really couldn't get over that hump. We made some costly turnovers. Um, you know, we, just, we couldn't hit those shots that really put us over the top. So uh, you know, we, we struggled, but you know, you got to give your, your hats off to them. They played a great game. You guys just want to talk. I mean, this now you know it's it. You know, it's <laughs> to the real world, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what is that? I what mean, does, it, does it feel like? it, it's tough, but I think um, you know, we left this program in great shape. Obviously, we didn't make the NCAA tournament. Obviously, that's extremely disappointing because we have one goal and we wanted to, to reach that goal. But at some point, you really do got to move forward, and we had to do that pretty quickly. Uh, winning 41 games over two years, seriously. I mean, we, we left this program with, you know, not getting to the NCAA tournament was looked upon as, as, a, as a disappointment. Um, and I think we, we've, we've left this place with something to be proud about. We've set a standard here, and that's extremely important on and off the court. Um, you know, hopefully, you know, Doc had a great game tonight. He carries that into next year and leads these guys. And, uh, you know, I think we just, we, we made a good stamp on this program, and we're, we're proud of that. Billy, you mentioned you know you, you mentioned the NCAA's twice, you know, yeah. right right there, and th and that was obviously the goal. You guys you guys had set. Was it hard to get up for this? Um, it, it took a while, and that that loss I own is not completely digested at all, nor will it ever be. Uh, for all of us, that's going to fire us up as we move on our in our careers. Uh, was it tough to get up for? Uh, no, not necessarily because it is basketball, and only so many teams are playing for it. Um, is it where we wanted to be? No. Um, so you got to balance that. Uh, you know, I think we were definitely up for this game, but obviously, you know, we wanted to be playing in something else. Chris, Billy said that you guys are leaving this program in good shape. Do you think it'll be easier to look at that maybe a year or two down the road when you're kind of removed from it because it's kind of, you know, everything's still fresh and kind of stinks? Yeah, for sure. You know, especially someone like me who has been here for four years. You know, I've been through the ups and downs of this program and to see that. You know, we're, we're going uphill and we're making progress to bigger and better things. So it feels, you know, good to, you know, know that we're in that state. So, yeah. Is it, is it nice, though, like Billy said, they have the disappointment of now that it was to not get to the you know, NCAA tournament where it's just two years ago, you won five games. Just the level of disappointment is just. Right. Just to, just to raise everybody's expectations of this program. You know, I think it's safe to say that we've set the bar pretty high, especially knowing where we came from in the past. So, um, it could only go up from here. Is that the quickest team you played this year? I mean, they seemed like they were even quicker than maybe than Iona. Were they? Yeah, yeah. I think I think so. Like, I mean, they was pushing that thing. I mean, the coaches said it was going to push it like Iona, but like you said, they were just giving that thing. <laughs> on the call, on a make, miss, on everything. So it was pretty tough. What was the locker room like at halftime? You guys came out pretty strong in the second half. I mean, like, just like Billy said, we knew they was gonna they, gonna, they allowed a lot of points, so we knew we cut it to like four, I think, in the first minute, two, something like that. Just like that, Billy hit a couple of threes, and we was right there. We just couldn't get over the hump, like Billy said. Dominic, as a as like an underclassman, what do you, I mean, what are your impressions of what these guys have done, and like, you know, what do you see from the inside that they've done to other chances? 
I mean, I, I definitely feel that it's amazing because I was coming in seeing uh, where the program was at the, at the time, and I really didn't expect the change to come. But these guys, they let us every day in practice so well. You know, they, they let us better than any leader that I've had in a while, you know. And so um, the credit goes to them, man. They pushed us all to do as good as we did this year, and I was happy to be a part of it. What are you thinking about for next year? Um, get the blueprint started, you know, just get ready, you know, see see what we can bring in, see how uh, the season will go, you know. Um, we have a lot of shooters. We, we're going to definitely still be pushing the ball a lot next year, and uh, hopefully we can uh, keep this tradition going. Take one more for the guys. Do you think this will be easier to look at in a, you know, in a couple of years rather than right after this whole season? Yeah, like I said, we're still trying to digest that loss, Iona. And um, it's, it's extremely hard to kind of move forward from that because your, your goals are set on that. But, you know, once that is kind of digested and we're, we're calling each other a year from now, two years from now, um, you know, we'll be able to say that, you know, what we did was great for this program. Um, we, have, we have really nothing to be ashamed about. Uh, you know, we, we worked hard. Um, you know, like Doc said, never did we, you know, give up in practice. We, we came to practice ready to compete every single day. And, you know, we moved toward one goal, just fell a few shots short of that. And, you know, that's the game of basketball. You just you have to bounce back and you have to learn to move forward. And we'll move forward and we'll look back on this. And, you know, like you said, I think we this place is a great tradition and we, we left it with that. Gentlemen, thank you. <laughs>